Okay, here we have reading a point in the coordinate plane, give the location of Seattle as an ordered pair. So Seattle is located here and we need to pay attention to the units. So it says here to here is 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So each little marker is one unit then. And then same thing going this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I, the, this axis here is the x axis and this axis here is the y axis, okay? So if I need to move to the right, then that's going to tell me the first um, component of, a, of an ordered pair will be positive. But if I need to move to the left, then that tells me that first coordinate will be negative. Now Seattle is over here. So if the Y axis is the middle, I'm actually moving toward the left to get to Seattle. And I have to actually move to the left until I get to negative eight. So that means the coordinates of this point, at least the first coordinate, is going to be negative 8 for the x value. Then here, if I go from the center, from the origin, if I go up, it's positive values. And if I go downward, it's negative values. So here's the x-axis. Seattle is actually located below the x-axis, which means its y-coordinate will be negative. But how many? It looks like here, so that's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So the location of Seattle is negative eight, so that means to the left, and then negative four because that means down, okay? So negative means to the left for the x coordinate, and negative uh, means down for the y coordinate. And so if they had to ask you to find, let's say, the coordinates of Phoenix, then you would have gone over 1, 2, 3 to the right, which means a positive x, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 down, so a negative y. If they asked you for the coordinates of Atlanta, it would mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the right, but then up one so a positive one for the y if they asked you the values for boston it would have been negative in the x one two three and up one two three so a positive three for the y